everyone. My name is Penny Bagley, and I'm happy to be the newest co-author on the eighth edition of the Lowers textbook. I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about Apollo Shoes, a comprehensive mock audit case that we have that accompanies our textbook. Now, let's face it. We all know accounting students like to be prepared. They want to know what it's, they are going to be doing every day in their jobs, and they want to know exactly how to do it. The auditing class can often be a struggle for students because we don't necessarily teach them how to do an audit. We teach them more about why we do the things we do during an audit. Like what Jay mentioned last week with risk. We teach them about risk and how risk assessment drives what it is we actually do on an audit. And we all know every individual audit is gonna be different so we can't really teach them how to do an audit. Now I've been teaching auditing at the undergraduate and the graduate level for the last 13 years. And one of the best ways I've found to help students make those connections between the concepts we talk about in class and what it is they're actually gonna be doing in their everyday jobs is by implementing cases. So these could be cases that I found in journals or cases that I've written, or even better, cases like Apollo Shoes that accompany our textbook. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you just how easy it is to access Apollo. So here I am on my Connect web uh, page. And if I click on Instructor Resources, I come up to this main page. And right there, I can see a link to Apollo Shoes. So as I mentioned, Apollo Shoes, it's a comprehensive mock audit, but it's broken up into separate standalone mini cases. So you can have your students complete all of the cases and they will do a full comprehensive mock audit, or you can have them complete individual cases as you have time and as you wanna reiterate different concepts in different chapters. Students don't have to complete the prior chapter's mini case in order to do the current chapter's mini case. So let me give you the lay of the land here what you see here is the chapters that the cases coordinate to, the actual mini case, which is gonna be an Excel workbook file that students will complete, any additional files they might need in order to complete the mini case. For example, in this first one, they would need the prior year 10K, board of directors minutes, things like that. You'll find that here. Solutions, which is going to be simply your, um, your Excel mini case that students have completed, completed with suggested solutions. Any instructor walkthrough notes, just a Word document giving a little bit more background. And then what I find really helpful, which is an instructor walkthrough video, which is three or four minutes, and it just goes through all the work papers that students are supposed to complete and talks about why they're doing what they're doing. And then, of course, the skills learned. Real quickly, I just want to show you the setup of the work paper. So we're going to look at cash here. If you click on cash, it'll pull it right up. I'm just, I've already got it open, so I'm going to just flip over to the Excel work papers for the cash audit. Cash is a good one to look at because this is actually one of the things students will probably start doing pretty early on in their careers, auditing cash. So all the work papers are set up in this way where you have an instructions tab at the front and this is something you can edit. So here you would tell students what steps you want them to do, how you want them to turn it in. Okay, again, you can totally edit this on your own for whatever you wanna do. Um, you might have some background emails that might give students a little bit more information about what it is they're supposed to be doing. On the Apollo Shoes case, your student is going to be a new senior associate. So this is an email from their manager, for example, talking a little bit more about the cash audit. Here in this particular case, you have the trial balance work papers that they're going to be tying back to the prior year from 2019 and 2020. And then for all the cases, you're going to have an audit program, which is going to have the steps the student is supposed to complete. So just looking here, you've got your standard audit program. You've got the work paper reference where they're supposed to fill in where they did the work. Um, and what I really like about Apollo is we also ask them what assertion that step relates to. So for example, here, this third step is to foot the cash lead schedule. And they're supposed to talk about why they would do that. Think about why they would do that. Well, they would do that to make sure that the numbers add up correctly, that they're accurate. And then of course the sign off and any comments. And then following the audit program, just like in Excel work papers, they've got all the work papers that they need to audit cash. So here you have the lead schedule, um, you have bank reconciliations, bank confirmations, everything they're gonna need in order to complete that audit program. There's a lot of things I like about Apollo. I like that it helps students make the connections. I like that it familiarizes them with what Excel work papers might look like. I like that in some of the cases they have to utilize Excel skills like the lookups. Um, I like that it teaches them about audit documentation, being succinct but thorough in their documentation and cross-referencing and a, a multitude of things. 
I really like it. I think the students like it. And I think you would like it too if you use it. Thank you so much for your time today.